Okay, okay. So yeah, so if you are like me and you don't like the sorter because it is too bulky and it is in general not very pleasant to work with, uh, maybe I have something for you. Um, and you can use the digital flip flop uh, as a sorter if you want to. Uh, let me show you this. So if you have if you have one of these. Um, one of these uh, flip flops in your in your shoot system, you can use it as a sorter. As you can see, the flip flop has um, a setting, a setting output, and a mode. These three are the ones that are interesting. And as you can see in the default mode, it comes with setting one and one. Yeah, and this means if you put something, let me show you this. If you put something into the into the you know, we have to turn it on, of course. Uh, first time it goes in this direction, second time it goes in this direction. And of course, this is not what you want for a sorting me uh, mechanic. What you can do is you can set both setting and setting output to zero. As you can see here, now it is zero. And from now on, uh, let's turn it on. Uh, from now on, uh, the material only flows in the direction where the green arrow is pointing. As you can see here, no matter uh, no matter what, if you if you put it in this direction, now it's uh, it's not sorted. Yeah? This arrow is controlled by the mode. As you can see here, if you switch the mode, the arrow is changing. The green arrow means in this direction is the sorting. Yeah, so. This is pretty much this is pretty much the basic. If you want to play around with it, uh, just remember set the settings, set the settings for uh, to zero and setting output to zero as well. Now, I have written a little program <laughs> and uh, want to show you want to show you how it works. So if we have, let's say we have some some ingots here, yeah, for example iron ingot. I'm on Mimas. This is very hard to throw. As you can see, the sorter sorts the ingots out. We can also use uh, copper. As you can see, copper goes in this direction. If you if you uh, if you have a little bit uh, experience with uh, with sorting, you uh, you will see this is sorted by the class because um, uh, iron ingots have another hash, and uh, copper ingots have also a uh, different hash. So, but they are both go in this. Uh, in uh, they both are sorted out uh, uh, by this uh, flip flop. Also, the coal. If you grab the coal, and the coal is now uh, sorted, sorted uh, by this as well. Also, if you want to, if you want to sort, for example, iron. Yeah, this is sorted by the hash, and this is sorted by the class. And yeah, you can pretty much um, you can pretty much sort out whatever you want. As you can see here, the battery uh, is going in this direction. And if I put, uh, let's say, something I have not sorted, um, it will go straight to straight to the end. Yeah, as you can see, you can have uh, with one AC, you can have six of these uh, so, uh, flip flops in your in your. Um, network. Right, this is pretty much it. Let me show you my program. Uh, I'm not explaining the program. I'm not very happy with it, but it works. <laughs> Write your own program, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, so as you can see, I have not set any uh, devices here. And uh, yeah, a couple of things, a couple of things, a couple of uh, Function jumpers, like I said, write your own program. Uh, don't ask me. This is just to show you and uh, maybe give you an idea that you can to, that you can use this. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much uh, my program here. Like I said, I'm not explaining it. It is uh, a little bit complicated. But what I can do is, uh, if you remember the ingot class, the ingot class is here. So if I grab the ingot class and I want to have the ingot class here. And let's say I want to have the the OR class 
you know, I want to have the ore class here. This is pretty much what I can do. Uh, and export it. And now, if I put an ingot here, it should be sorted out somewhere. There. You can see. Or if I want to have the coal, I'm not sure the coal, no, the coal is still here, but the ore class should be should go in this. As you can see, this is pretty much it. Right, so sorting with flip flops. Um, if you have an idea how to use this uh, more sophisticated, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day and see you.